The safety of Australia's livestock transporters is the focus of a groundbreaking trial being conducted by the Australian Livestock and Rural Transporters Association in conjunction with Kilcoy Global Foods, the National Heavy Vehicle Regulator and the Federal Government's Heavy Vehicle Safety Initiative. Being here in Kilcoy today is, is um, and seeing firsthand the initiatives that have been taking on this pilot project is is remarkable. I don't think it'll be too long before we see uh, initiatives like this at every sale yard or loading facility around the country. The days of climbing over 4.6 metre high crates could be a thing of the past with a new gantry system to help with the unloading of livestock. Probably ranks amongst our top three of our risk factors um, in, our, in our business where the guys actually have to climb on their crates um, to, to set up their doors and their gates and all that and then to actually push the cattle out. So for loading and unloading it's a big risk. What you're seeing here today is a first of its kind piece of equipment that uh, will hopefully have application on sites around Australia. Built by Wagga company Proway, the movable ramp and gantry system is unique. While other systems pivot from the base of the ramp, the frame at Kilcoy Global Foods retracts away from the ramp far enough to allow a truck to pass in between. Movement of the frame is controlled by sensors that measure angles and auto-correct to keep the frame parallel to the trailer set. The frame allows drivers to easily work with the animals without the need for drivers climbing on the side or top of the crate. You want your drivers to be home at night with their families. Uh, you don't want them injured or, you know, alone um, taking risks that are unnecessary. And by having this type of facility here at this plant, that is endorsing those levels of safety. $100,000 Australian innovation and something that probably doesn't exist around the world can now mean that some guy can come and unload do it properly, get home safely and not get injured. It's fantastic. Over a 12-week period, the gantry will be available for use on a voluntary basis. A usage fee will initially be set at $15. Every two weeks, the fee will be reduced until it is removed completely. It's up to every individual to, uh, to make their own assessment. But I think once people see the apparatus in, in, in use and see how quick it is and how easy it is to use and just how incredibly safe it is compared to uh, climbing on the outside of a vehicle, I think people will become converted once they've seen it two or three times after the visit to the site. Initial usage rates have been higher than expected. The human nature is to resist change at times, um, but uh, once you've used this platform you, you understand how safe it is and, and how easy it is to use and the time factor is very, very minimal loss. So we have made some modifications and some improvements based on some feedback, but the important point being we have listened to our drivers, we have made some modifications, we have improved the process, and in turn, we have full united buy-in from our drivers. The project host, Kilcoy Global Foods, see it as another way of setting the standard for a safe and efficient workplace. Yeah, in a lot of ways. I... I'd probably remove the word efficiencies because I think that's a byproduct of doing good safety. So this is legitimately all about um, improving or eliminating the risks associated with cattle unloading and therefore the drivers to make sure that the men and ladies doing the hard work can go home safely to their families at the end of each night. The industry hopes that the user pay trial will help build a business case to take to feedlots and sale yards around the country so gantries can be rolled out at more locations. No idea is a silly idea because you know, we're really looking at the fine, fine end of the, uh, the, the pencil now on how we can save lives and, and reduce trauma. That's the exciting part around the safety initiatives funding that we can actually now work with industry, the community to invest back in using ideas that come you know, from whether it's a driver, whether it's association, whether it's a company like Global Foods, but to make things safer is the nice part of this job. For the drivers who are at the coalface each and every day, the message is simple. Your safety is important to all industry groups. Well, it's good to see that. Um, I think the industry associations, the ALRTA and the, the various state associations have had a lot to do with the lobbying for that. So, you know, it's good to see the government come on board. Um, but, you know, I also, the associations that we're involved in have had a lot to do with making this all happen. When we talk about having uh, federal uh, support for this thing, that's showing that all levels of government and uh, consider safety to be of significant importance. I would hope uh, you know, future abattoirs, feedlots and sale yards will embrace this idea and, and uh, help our industry stay safe.